So you know where I'm at. I'm in my happy place. I can do the happy dance, the creative dance in the kitchen. I just feel so alive, so free, so creative. And if more people took that attitude when they were in the kitchen, your food would come out so much better. Your family will probably love your food because you're putting the main ingredient into it and that is amor, pero mucho, mucho amor. a little bit. I'm gonna take a sip of my honey whiskey. Can't have too much of that in the kitchen. If not, you'll really mess up your whole recipe. But listen, on the menu today is zucchini stuffed boats. You're saying, what am I gonna stuff them with? It's up to you. You can stuff them with ground beef, you can stuff them with ground turkey, you can stuff them with just vegetables. But today, we are gonna be using ground turkey. And I'm gonna show you that you can use alternative ingredients to still make your food super duper tasty. Family won't even notice that you've used alternative ingredients. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about next. This is what you will need. Ground turkey or ground beef. You're also going to need sweet peppers or bell peppers. I personally love to cook with sweet peppers all the time. Of course, you wanna throw a little bit of cilantro up in the mix because cilantro gives everything such a good flavor and it has a lot of good healing properties to it as well. So add cilantro to your food. And no dish would be complete if you did not use onion. You can use purple onion, white onion, yellow onion but use onion if you love it. You will need as many zucchinis as possible to feed your family. I'm doing three. And this cheese right here that I came across, it's almond mozzarella style shreds. Found it at Trader Joe's. Such a great alternative and it's 99% lactose free. I personally love cooking with this type of oil. You can find it on Amazon. It's MCT oil made from organic coconut. So obviously, you need to be able to stuff these zucchini boats with something, right? So you're gonna stuff it with the ground turkey. And this is pretty much like making like a picadillo. Picadillo es como carne molida, ground beef, ground turkey, whatever your family chooses to eat, right? Let me put the fire a little higher on this. And you just cook this, you add as much vegetables, you can add corn to this. So you make sure that this ground turkey is cooked. You let it brown for a while. You put whatever seasoning. I like to put sea salt, pepper. Keep it simple, right? You could put taco seasoning in this. So you make sure that this cooks for about 10 minutes first and foremost. So this is the way your meat looks after you add the cilantro, sweet peppers, onion. I added a little bit of turmeric powder seasoning salt, a little bit of sea salt, and of course, ground cumin. I love cooking with comino. So you mix all the veggies together with the meat, and it creates this beautiful medley of color, flavor, and greatness. So this, you guys, is what you're going to stuff your zucchini bolts with. And this is not mandatory, but I feel like adding cranberries to this meat. Why? Because in the kitchen, there are no rules. So you can add whatever the hell you feel like adding. And in this case, I feel like adding cranberries to my meat. It's something that I learned from a very special woman who added raisins one time to her meat, her picadillo like this, and it was so bomb. So since I didn't have raisins, I was like, you know what? I'm adding cranberries, darling. Oof. You don't have to add them. It's optional. So I know what you're saying, how are you gonna turn these zucchinis into zucchini bolts? So you're gonna cut them in half. You're gonna get all of them, you're gonna cut them in half. Zucchinis are very easy to cut. So you cut them in half. And you're gonna turn these suckers into bolts, right? So now that they're cut in half, you are going to basically 
get the middle, you're gonna get a spoon, and you're gonna carve out the middle to make, turn it into a bow, right? And the middle comes out very easily. Now, I discovered that you may have to bake these in order to make them. I thought I was gonna have to bake them before taking out the seeds, but no, they were very responsive. It's a very responsive vegetable. You guys, vegetables, produce are alive. So you have to treat them in that way, right? And the, the more things you eat raw, the better. So if you can see, this now has become a little bow. So right here, after we're done preparing the carne, we stuff it with meat, we top it with cheese, and oh boy, oh boy. So I'm gonna put these into the oven for two minutes to make them a little bit soft. Remember, zucchini cooks very quick. I'm also gonna spray them with a little bit of coconut oil, non-stick, just to give them a little bit of flavor, okay, before they go into the oven. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of lemon pepper, okay, porque spices in the kitchen are life. So we're gonna let these bake in the oven for two minutes just to make them get a little bit soft. Not too soft, you don't want a soggy zucchini. So my oven has been preheated at 350. We're gonna put these suckers in there for two minutes only. Strictly two minutes, that's it. So now that the boats have been taken out of the oven, they were in there for two minutes strictly, right? We don't want them to get too soft. We're going to stuff them with the picadillo that we made, the ground turkey picadillo. We stuff them very carefully, right? And this is what makes a zucchini, a zucchini boat. We stuff them, right? I mean, like, it could fall over. It's not supposed to fall over. It's supposed to go right into the boat, but you get the idea, right? So we're gonna stuff each one con carnita. Remember the carnita you use obviously is optional. You put shredded chicken. You could even make like shredded chicken enchilada bowls, right? Instead of using tortilla, you put them inside of a zucchini, right? So we stuff them, boom. Then we get a little bit of this almond mozzarella style cheese and we top them and then we stick them back into the oven for about five minutes. And when they come out, the cheese on these suckers are gonna be melted and the shell of the zucchini is gonna be so perfect that you're gonna be able to bite into it like a taco. So we put them back into the oven for five minutes and let them cook. I always get so excited to see the final product and taste it and see everybody else's expression on their face when they bite into straight up goodness. So this is the final product, you guys. These are the turkey stuffed zucchini boats topped with almond mozzarella shreds. I mean, such a healthy alternative. There is no tortilla. This is a low carb meal. You know, make it a family affair. Have your kids help you, you know, make the zucchini boats. They will guaranteed love it. I really hope you add this to your weekly diet and tell me how much you enjoy it. I know I love these. And, and you can actually top it with a little bit of sriracha. Y vamonos! Takes it to a whole nother level. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me two thumbs up, share it, pass it on to your mother-in-law, your daughter, your sister, and just share the love. You guys, it's all about finding healthy alternatives and you know, leading a healthier type of lifestyle whenever possible. So drop a comment below. Let me know what other recipes you wanna see me flip into something good. I actually gave myself an idea as I was cooking this. You could actually make shredded chicken, zucchini, and chilada bowl. I think I might make that next. But yeah, drop some ideas down below. Subscribe, pass on the word that La Comadre is all about the healthy lifestyle. You guys, it's a lifestyle, it's not a phase. Eating like this, eating healthy, it doesn't have to be boring and bland. So get with it and I'll see you guys next week.